Captain Pagwash scanned the exotic scorching shores of Arabia, hoping to turn up something rather special. He fancied he caught a sparkle amongst the date palms. Could this be treasure full of Eastern promise? Oh, but it could be anything. It could be an old milk bottle top. Oh, don't be silly, Willie. They don't have milk bottles in Arabia. The milk comes in, well, in there. Goats, Captain. Quite. Tom, launch the longboat, boy. You and I are going ashore to investigate. Have you spotted the treasure yet, Tom? Hi, Captain. And is it treasure? An ankle bracelet. Captain! Top who? And it's on an ankle, Captain! Save me! Save me! Uh, it's a woman! Yes, a woman, and the wife of the great Sultan of Bin, Abdul el Aryapanatam. I am the Sultana. Oh, I say! The Sultana of Bin. <clears throat> Captain Horatio Pugwash. <laughs> Very good to make your acquaintance, Mrs. Ander. Sultana. My husband, the Sultan. He is gone. Yes, well, these things happen. <laughs> oh, but it was terrible. I was on my honeymoon cruise. We had sailed from Bin on our ship, the Bin Liner. Suddenly, a big, hairy man jumped on board. He had friends, ugly, very ugly friends. Horrible! He robbed me of everything except my ankle bracelet and my handbag. He sunk our ship. He kidnapped my husband, the Sultan, and he tied me up here and left me. Sounds to me like Cutthroat Jake, Captain. Sounds to me like Cutthroat Jake, Madam. Yes, that is the name. Aha! I thought as much. But you, you, Captain Pugskawash, have come to rescue me. No, not exactly. And you will find my husband also. I'm, I'm not sure that'll be in time. Oh, you have answered my prayers. You are my knit in shining army. Knit? I think she means knight in shining armour, Captain. Hmm. Come along now, Tom. We really must be getting back. My husband is the richest sultan in Arabia. And he will give you many gifts, many monies, many honours, many glories. Well, uh, no, now, I'm not one to leave a damsel in distress. You'd best come along with me, my dear. What are you waiting for, Tom? Untidily. <laughs> <laughs> Do not be frightened of Snifter, Captain. He comes with me everywhere. <laughs> kizzy, kizzy, kizzy. Isn't he sweet? Uh, I, I don't like the camel, man. The camel, Jonah, is a loathsome beast. My ship sheep dick looks like his zoological hen clothes off. The captain wants you to help him entertain his guest, Mr. Mate. Ha! Oh, she's very well to do, you know. She's a sultana. The only place for a sultana, Willie, is in a spotted dick. I have lost everything, everything. The hairy man. He took everything. My trinkets, my necklaces, my bracelets, my rings, ah. my silks, my husband. My ah, children, Mr. My Mate, my the Sultana has lost everything, Mr. Mate, everything. everything. Most my unfortunate, madam. Even my precious perfume, the big hairy man he took. My perfume! A great loss, madam. Is very expensive. It is called Eau de Bin. It is all over Arabia. We must be thankful it is not all over the black pig. That's quite enough, Mr. Mate. I will sleep in your cabin, Captain Pugsquat. <laughs> Strike a late. What have I next? So, I shall sleep in your hammock, Mr. Mate. My hammock? But where will I sleep, Captain? On deck, of course. With the camel. <laughs> ah, so, we've got the Sultan of Bin mm -hmm. and all his treasure. Yeah. <laughs> It's very nice thing, no? Stop that! Any time now, some passing ship will have been dumb enough to pick up the Sultana, and she will have handed over our ransom note. Oh, cheer up, Mr. Mate. The captain will soon think up a plan. Plan or no plan, I will have to spend the night with a dromedary. <laughs> <laughs>
necklace is my bracelet, my yeah. drink, it's Here my comes Boonin Billy. Is all lost. My snifter is all I have in the world. Kizzy, kizzy, kizzy. Tom, first thing tomorrow, we set off on the trail of Cutthroat Jake. But how do we know where he is, Captain? He could be anywhere in the Seven Seas by now. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I have a note from the big hairy jig man. Note. Yes, it is here in my handbag. So you kept your handbag, model. Beat it, Tub. I'm too tired. Bring loads of treasure to the caves of Ali Bumbo, and you can shave have the Sultan. <laughs> there we are. They'll be at the caves of Ali Bumbo. But where are the caves of Ali Bumbo, Captain? Well, how am I supposed to do, Tub? <laughs> I'll pick up a plan in the morning. Good night, dear lady. Show me to your hammock, Mr. Bait. Oh, we've been waiting hours and hours by these caves, and no one's come with a ransom money. <sighs> Swine, what exactly did you write on that ransom note? Let me see. I... Oh, yeah, I wrote, bring loads of treasure to the caves of Ali Bumbo. Not the caves of Ali Bumbo, you dither and dingo! The caves of Bally Humbo! We're at Bally Humbo, you jelly headed jitterbug! No one will know where to come! It's all mumbo jumbo! Oh, I can't help it! Oh, I told you I never written nothing before! <laughs> I shall sleep a wink with that beast on the deck, Tom. You can catch things from kettles, you know. Oh, oh no! <laughs> the beast is barmy, Tom. He's got clean off his rocker. I'll wake the Sultana. You wake the captain, Mr. Mate. <laughs> oh, wake up, madam. There's something terribly wrong with Snifter. Huh? But he is all I have in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Nautical nightmares. Whatever's the matter? Oh, quick, Captain. The dromedary is deranged. Could it possibly be that Snifter can smell something he recognises? Like your perfume, madam. Yes, of course. He can smell the old bin, my precious perfume stolen by the hairy man. Ah, I knew it. Follow the course the camel takes, Tom, and it's sure to lead to the caves of Ali Bumbo, where Jake has the sultan. Aye, aye, Captain. There it is, the flying dust oh, yes, so it is. Yes. But how are we going to rescue the Sultan, eh? We'll use Snifter. <laughs> of course we will. What? If we pull alongside, Mr. Maid takes the wheel, you all go up to the bow and distract Jake while Snifter and I wait at the stern. Snifter can jump aboard the flying dustman and catch them unawares. We'll never get any ransom money now. You've ruined my plan, you mm. terrific trio. Oh, no. mm -hmm. Look, Captain! He's the Black Pig! Oh, no! What? Hogwash! <laughs> now, Snifter! Good fellow, Snifter. Hooray! Oh, my husband, you are rescued. Captain Pig Squash has brought you back to me. My dear Sultana, this Captain Pog Squish is a neat in shining army. <laughs> it was nothing. If you will be so kind as to take us back to Bean in your ship, I will bestow on you many riches and treasures. But of course I'll take you back to Bin, your Sultaness. All of us, Captain. <laughs> All of you. <laughs> Who on earth? These are my husband's other wives, Captain Pug Squash. They all wear the perfume, too, you see. Who oh, my saint it aunt? <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? Without their eau du bin perfume, Snifter would never have sniffed me out. So, with an extra 14 and Snifter for dinner, the captain ordered the black pig sail for Bin. True to his word, 
The Sultan paid for his passage with the riches of Arabia. What a top hole piece of captaincy that was, my heart is. Top hole, <laughs> Captain. Oh, cheer up, Mr. Mate. You've got rid of those Sultanas now. That's as maybe, Captain. But I don't think we shall ever get rid of the aroma of the older bin. Look on the bright side, Mr. Mate. At least they didn't all have camels. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>